Okay, this is a video to help you kind of figure out how to use the uh, intersection function on the TI-84 or TI-83 either way. Um, so let's start it off and let's take a look. Uh, so first thing is that you're going to enter your equations into the Y equals button. So you get your Y equals. You'll enter your equations. Uh, remember that whenever we graph something, we always hit zoom. We choose number six. So zoom standard. At this point, what that does for us is, is we can see here, you know, this is my basic example. So what we see here is we see that we that basic screen, that standard screen that I have, will show us pretty much everything we need. We can clearly see that there's an intersection right here of the two functions and an intersection right there of the two functions. So as you're looking at this, we know where to attack, where to go and look. Sometimes what we have to remember is, and when we get into the more advanced example, uh, you know, you might have to adjust your screen window to be able, or the window of your calculator to be able to identify where your intersections are. So let's go ahead and start the process. You're going to hit second, trace, second, trace. We're going to choose number five because number five is the intersection. At this point, one thing that's happened is I've noticed that, that there's a confusion between the vocabulary word of a curve and the equation. Um, you know, our curve, that is our equation. So right now what we're seeing is, is that we have the equation y equals, let me go ahead and just grab this. Okay, so we have, I thought that was going to work. Guess not. So we have the equation y equals x squared plus 3x minus 5. And what the calculator is saying is saying, what curves do you want me to look at? What curves do you want me to find the intersection of? So I tell it, enter. I say, I want you to find the intersection of this curve. So I press enter to choose that one. And then it says, okay, well, what's the other curve you want me to look at? Curve meaning equation. And so I say, okay, well, the linear one, the one that creates a straight line. So I press enter. Now at this point, the calculator is actually asking me to move myself, to move my cursor to the location of the intersection that I'm looking for, the one that I want them to tell me. So I kind of move myself over here. And I get as, you know, pretty close. I mean, obviously at this point, the calculator is not going to be confused and think you're talking about this intersection. There's only two, so you're close enough. Once you get to where you want to be, you press enter. And so we can see here that we have one of our intersections occurs at negative 4, negative 1. All right, so we go ahead and do the same process again to find the other intersection. We don't have to change the screen, change anything. We just hit second, trace, which takes me to that calculate right there in blue. We choose number 5. Okay, it takes you through the same thing. So if you want to, so you can kind of see, you can see that I move my cursor so you can see I'm on the parabola or the quadratic function. I press enter. I can see my cursor flashing right there. I can look up at the top corner. It tells me that I'm on my linear function. I press enter. And now it's telling me, well, which one do you want me to find? What's your guess of where the intersection is? So you'll go ahead and move your cursor up along that line until you get on top of close enough right there okay press enter and I find out that I have my other intersection at 2 comma 5 all right those are my two solutions remember what does it mean to be a solution a solution is a, a location that makes both of these equations true because at that spot right there, at negative 4, positive 1, and at positive 2, positive 5, those are the only two places where you can find an x, y that makes both of the equations true.